Hello, it's Patty Behan here and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to make these fun magazine transfers using the Dilutions and Dina Wakely Media Gel Plate and some Dina Wakely paint and glazing medium and a brayer. This is a fun technique to play with and you kind of never know what you're going to get, but let's get started. So to begin, I'm using the three pack assortment of gel plates. It comes with a small round circle and then a smaller rectangle and then a medium size rectangle, which is what I'm going to be using today. This also comes in a nine by 11 gel plate if you like to decorate a big surface. So to begin, I picked out some magazine pages um, from like a fashion magazine. This came from Vogue and I have my brayer and some buff paint that I'm going to begin by putting it on the gel plate. And when you're choosing an image, I really can't recommend the perfect one because you never know what you're going to get. So you start out by putting some paint on the gel plate and then I'm using some glazing medium. I'm just using a little bit of the medium. I just put a few dots on here. And then you take the brayer and then you spread that all out across the gel plate. And now I'm going to put the image face down on the gel plate and then I'm just rubbing it on there and I'm taking a clean brayer and just making sure all the paint sticks to the image. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take the dirty brayer and just put it in a bucket of water so that the paint doesn't dry on there. And now I'm using a piece of a journal page from a Dilutions Lark journal and I'm going to place the painted image face down again onto the page. And then I'll use the brayer to make sure the image has good adhesion. And then I kind of lift it up to see if anything's happening yet. And let's see here, it looks like the ink is transferring to the page. So I'm going to just take the whole thing off like so. And there you have it. It's Isn't it so cool how that black ink didn't come off, but the buff paint is there in its place and some of the other colors came off. And I don't know what it is that makes it so certain inks adhere and certain don't because you get it, it's different every time. So that's that one and I'll put that aside and let's try another. So I have this one here, it's all black. So last time the black didn't transfer, but let's see what happens with this. So again, I put the buff paint on and then take the glazing medium. This time I'm trying a little more glazing medium to see what happens. This is really just an experiment. And then I'm just placing it across the whole gel plate, putting it face down use a clean brayer to spread that paint around and then we'll lift it off and put it on the paper there like so use the brayer again the clean brayer and now let's see what happens with this one So this seems to be sticking to the paper already and drying out. So, so again, that black ink didn't transfer. And this one didn't have so much detail. So I guess that came out all right. I like how the top part came out. Let's try something else. So now I have this one here with the green and see how that transfers. So um, some more paint, a little bit of glazing medium, spread it on the plate. Then 
again we'll place it face down and then brayer it with the clean brayer take out our paper So you see how it looks with just a little bit of paint on there. And again, face down. Put the brayer across and lift it up to see if the ink is transferring yet. It doesn't seem like much is going on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this one dry. I'm going to set it aside and let me, let me just peek over here. Yeah, no, I'm just going to um, set it aside and let it dry and see what happens with that one. Now I have this one here that has a really dark background and this time I'm just going to try adding glazing medium and no paint. Let's see what happens. Um, and then I'm just going to brayer that on and then take a clean brayer and then put it on a smaller piece of paper there and see what happens with this one. And I think it's drying because I didn't add a lot of extra paint. And so I'm kind of just rolling the paper off because it stuck to the page. And it's interesting how that one came out. You have that dark background and you can still see the figure in the bottom. That's, I, I really like how this one came out. Now let's go back to that other one to see what's going on with that. Okay, so this feels like it's drier now and let's see what happened. Wow, that came out really cool. See how some of the paper is sticking? I'm just rolling it off and you can um, go ahead and dip your finger in some water to get off any pieces that stick, but that looks really cool. I really like how you get some of the colors of the jacket and the, the red really stayed nice. Okay, let's try another one that has a busy background. I'll add a little more paint and then some glazing medium. Roll it with a brayer, put it on a Dilutions journal page, and let's see if it transfers right away. Hmm, it doesn't look like much is happening, so let's put that back down and set it aside. So that was all the pages that I had picked out ahead of time, but I'm having so much fun. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to look for some more images here and let's, let's experiment some more. Oh, this one looks nice. I like that. So let's go ahead and do that one. I have to rip out some more pages from the journal there. Okay. So here's some glazing medium. This time I'm trying a lot of the glazing medium. Let's see what happens with that. So we brayer the paint on there, stick it on. Nothing's happening, so let's put that aside and we'll come back to this other one we just did. And again, when you let it dry, it kind of sticks and this is where you have to play with it to get it off a little bit. But I'm thinking that if maybe if you let it fully dry, you get more of the image to um, transfer. But, you know, sometimes I like it when it's like some transfers and some doesn't. Because if you really wanted a full picture, you would just glue the picture down. So this is the whole purpose of doing it this way. Now, let's see what's going on with this one. Oh, wow, this one is really cool. I really like how this one came out. I think this is my favorite so far. Yeah, that came out really good. That's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's look for another one. 
I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am because I don't want to stop. <laughs> okay, this one looks different. I think I'm going to try a color this time instead of using the buff. How about that? I'm going to use the lemon. So we'll put that down. And then some more glazing medium. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. Brayer it on there. I think you know the drill by now. And let's lift this up and see what's happening. Okay, this is really interesting. The larger image didn't come out so good, but the faces towards the top, you could really see the detail. That came out pretty cool too. So here's just to look at all the pages. This is still my favorite. Like I said, you never know what you're gonna get. Try letting it dry all the way. Try lifting it to see what's transferring. Try using different amounts of paint versus glazing medium. Try using different colors. I tried using uh, multiple colors, but I think it's more effective if you just choose one color. But that doesn't mean you don't have to do it. Maybe you'll have more luck with that than I did. So stay tuned for what I do with these pages to finish them off. And there's a supply list for what I've used in the box below. And then don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the button below as well. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.